Hey everybody, just wanted to uh, show you how I use liquidation and keep track of my purchases, auctions, all that stuff. So, a uh, quick little video here, kind of off the cuff, uh, just kind of walk through how I take the auctions that I win and put them into my spreadsheet and then a little update of my spreadsheet. So, as you can see here, I kind of add to this as I go. Each line is an auction that I win and it's kind of busy but for example some of the auctions when I win them I put the transaction ID in this column and these are all formulas based on my items sheet so I record retail value buy amount how much I list so each uh, eBay price that I list the item for it accumulates here based on the end auction this is important because it gives me a good idea of what I've listed will cover the cost of my uh, auction win before uh, expenses and fees. So, number of items that I get in the box. Then once I sell them, I keep track of eBay fees versus PayPal fees. Items sold for, my straight shipping costs, what I'm getting out of PayPal, and then this is going to be profit after fees and expenses and shipping and all. And then versus what I bought the box for, this is what I'm in the hole or above. So per auction, we can see that I'm, all these are winners. So these are the auctions I've either just received in the past week or two. And, the, and this is the date I actually bought it on. This is percent of MSRP. So I try to keep this, like this is kind of below 80, but we'll see how in that 294, 79% of MSRP, we'll see what I get a return on. So I kind of want to, I'll walk through these two and show you how I keep track of stuff. So I was kind of doing this earlier. I said, hey, this might be a good YouTube video to let everyone know how I use the manifest and liquidation. So once I pay for the item on liquidation and I get the email back, what I do, sorry, I go to my item sheet and I go to the bottom. Sorry for the scrolling, but I already plugged this one in because I had to, I sold something earlier tonight and I had to keep track of it. So if we look over here, what I do is I take the email that I get after I paid for it and I paste it right into the sheet. So I have an idea of when I come back in, this is what the manifest will be for. So once I'm ready to paste the information in, I come over to the first line here and I take the transaction ID number, which is this number here. You'll get it in the email once you pay. And I type that in here, and this fills all the way down for every item in the manifest for that auction off liquidation. So I'm going to go to my transactions in my liquidation account. And if I go down here, I want to say view all transactions. This is in the my account portion of liquidation.com. I come here. And I find that auction ID, which is 5714. I go over here and I say 5714. So that's this one. Click on the actual auction title and it'll bring me to the same page that you used to uh, view the auction, look at it, view manifest, all that. So same thing. It's closed. I won the auction. I click on manifest. Manifest pops open. What I do next is I just high click and drag all the way to the bottom and I copy. Right click, copy, go back to my spreadsheet and right click, a special values only, and it fills in everything. 
So once everything pastes in here, I fill in everything down. And that's the end of the auction here. So 5 and 1, 4. So if I go back to my summary tab, 5, 7, 7 1, 4. Now that I filled everything in with uh, this, it's important, this transaction ID mirrors the one that I just pasted. I can take my formulas and just drag them down one and it'll auto calculate. Computer's actually a little slow. Paste it there and it pasted my values there. Uh, I forgot when I bought this auction. It looks like it closed on 3 8 2017. And I just type in 3 8 2017. And it's all my formulas. Drop those down. And the last thing is this is kind of uh, a reference, just a straight cell reference. So I say equals. Go back to my items and back to the section where I pasted from the email. I click the box right just below the stuff I pasted. And what I'll do is I'll take this price that I paid for it and I will type it right there 1256.25. So now it's a rough point of reference for me. I could see exactly the, the fees, totals, auction ID all that and I go back to here and there it is that's what I paid for currently I'm in the hole $251 because I only sold one item I just won one of these auctions tonight so let's do the same thing for that one start to finish so if I go back to my account and I go up to this one I just won uh, and I haven't shipped it yet 4402 Okay, so this is the one I just won. So 285 is out of the auction. I paid winning auction 221. Click manifest. It's going to change. Copy. Now I did not copy from the email yet since I had I just won this on 37. So I didn't do that portion yet. Go back here. Whoops, wrong tab. Pay special. Oh, there it goes. Values only. Okay. And since I do not have the email, I need to reference this number. Copy that. And again, this template is available on my website, Liquidation OH. Um, it's a pared down version. I think it only has two examples. So you can follow the same format I'm doing, and I'd love to get feedback if you guys want to track other things, um, or add to it, and it's taking a while to paste. There we go. And then I just fill this down. The last thing I do is to separate each auction with a line. So oh, there you go. So now my auction's ready to go. When I sell things, I put the date I sold it on. If it's sold, put an X there, then I list out based on these headers. eBay list price, final, my list price, the final sell price. If the buyer thing what was actual ship out eBay, and then these are calculated. And I paste their name here from eBay. So that uh, helps me keep track since I have multiple items listed. But that's kind of how high level what I do. Uh, I also like track. I just started this on a day level. So, for example, 
after fees when I'm looking to pocket is after sales. I put my profit here. And this is just a gauge of how much money I'm collecting each day. So, like tonight I think I sold four items. So, 39 bucks was my profit. Uh, not bad. Items weren't too big. So, I've added that just for my own sake. And the last thing is, fill these down. And then, I forgot what I paid for this. I did not copy it yet. I think it was 285. 285, 170. So, there we go. That's how I do it. Uh, like the video, comment, subscribe. Love to get some feedback. And uh, look forward to hearing from everybody. Talk to you later.